Hello and welcome back to the June 3 workshop series where we take a deep dive into the features of June 3. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at creating an FM keys preset, very similar to that of the DX7 with the built-in FM oscillators within June 3. Also in the video, we're going to take a look at a couple of ways that we can utilize velocity and obviously we'll add some effects at the end as well. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these monthly videos. And if you have any questions about what you see in today's video, let me know down in the comments. And to get started with this, we're going to be using two oscillators and we're just going to use oscillator one and two here. We're not going to use extra voices on the right. So starting with voice one, we're going to increase this to seven and I'm going to increase the spread and drop the detune a little bit. And I'm going to keep it on linear for now. That's no issue. And then the oscillator can be switched to FM. We're going to get rid of A and B. We're outputting more of a standard sine wave there. And we're going to leave everything as it is for now. And then we're going to add the second voice in, which is going to provide the attack of this particular keys preset. And we're going to use one voice and we're going to switch this to FM. And we're also going to turn this A and B down. So now we just have a singular tone, just a singular voice, and a seven voice section there on oscillator one. But for now, we're going to turn oscillator two off and we're going to focus on our seven voices to start with. And to kickstart, we're going to use the amount knob for channel B here on the first oscillator. And I'm going to modulate this with the filter envelope down here, which will set it up in your mod matrix for you. So I'm going to increase the amount a little bit so we can hear what's happening. So it's a little bit too plucky, so I'm going to open up the decay with the amount quite high so we can hear what's going on. You can see the more that we open this up, the more of that sort of DX7 magic is coming through. So we're going to leave that as it is, just a little bit of sustain there, I'll just remove that. So we're just focusing on the decay and a little bit of release just to take away the sort of note on and off. And with that, we have our filter envelope. I have increased the release a little bit just to stop the notes cutting off too quickly and sounding a little bit odd. So for now, I'm going to put this around to the 50% mark just so we get some of the body coming through. And that's exactly what this first oscillator is doing, providing the body and the main section of that preset. And that's exactly what this oscillator is doing. It's providing the body of the sound. So moving to oscillator number two, let's just turn this one up and oscillator one off. And again on channel B, right click, modulate and filter envelope. And I'm gonna turn this up to about 50% as well. And from that, we can hear the attack is coming through nicely, but we don't want it to be on the same level as the body. So I'm going to transpose this up using the ratio, and we're going to put this to plus 12. Now we're getting more of that bell texture. But it sounds a little bit too long, so I'd ideally like it a little bit shorter than the body. Now the problem is we've got it linked to the filter envelope, and you can only have one of these filter envelopes. Now, technically we can use two filter envelopes. We can have two voices activated over here on the unison voices, but we're using the two oscillators on the same voice. So what is the workaround for this? Well, we can simply use the MSEGs down here at the bottom of June. So instead of having filter envelope and filter envelope attached there, we can simply just have the MSEGs instead. So I'm gonna have MSEG one, and MSEG2, because so we're going to have two different shapes. Then we can double click to create some nodes, and I'm just going to create some random nodes here like that. Okay, so that's a bit too fast. I'm going to bring the rate down there. And then we're going to activate voice one so we can hear it. We can see that's going to suit holding for a little bit longer. So if we was just to hold the keys here, 
it's going to hold that note and make it sound a little bit more natural flowing down. And then we're going to use MSEG2 again, just two nodes. So I'm just, let's just drag these to the end like so. Just make a little bit of a curve in there. And then obviously you'd attach this, but we've already done that. And we can just bring in oscillator two again. Bring it up to taste. And then if we bring both back in, it's going to sound a little bit odd because the polyphony is at four. So I'm just going to increase this to 24 because we've got quite a few notes in these chords. And from that, we have two envelopes, one that's a bit more plucky for that secondary sound that's giving us the attack. And then the first one is giving us more of the body. Now that we've got two custom envelopes set up in the MSEGs, we can focus on the velocity. So when it comes to velocity, there are a few ways that we can approach this in June 3. One is by hitting settings, and we can punch in some hard values here on the envelope amount, filter, pan, and volume. Another way to control velocity is to head to the mod matrix, and we can head to velocity in our sources and drag and drop onto oscillator one mix. So you can see I've set them both to zero. I'm gonna bring the first one up to say 75% volume. So that's the minimum amount of volume that I want for this particular preset. And then bring this up. And we've got velocity sensitivity, albeit very limited velocity. You can hear that there's not much difference between the two, but we can set everything up like that if we wanted to, and then just increase the volume on the master. But the better way to do this, I think, is to jump into the mod matrix and set the velocity to the mod matrix amount one. And essentially what is happening here is it's controlling the first modulation lane. So it's telling that first modulation lane to do nothing because we have it set to zero. So if we play the sound, you're going to hear that there's no modulation happening until I increase this amount. And it's going to do it based on how hard or soft the keys have been hit. I'm going to set this to about 55 and that sounds quite nice. And I'm going to do the same for oscillator two as well. So let's just turn oscillator one off. Let's go to velocity mod matrix and mod amount two. So now we're controlling that second parameter. And you can see I've just headed into MSEG2 just to control the amount of the MSEG that's happening. And this is done by dragging this parameter here and you can control how loud or how quiet this is going to be. So it's like an extension of the velocity. See it as a mix knob, if you will. I don't want it to be so hard hitting and instead of just removing the amount, I can control how much of that amount is mixed in and how intense it is. And with that, we have our FM keys preset. So now we can jump into some effects and just finish this off and get it all sounding lovely. So I'm just going to increase the release here on the amp envelope to stop the notes stopping so abruptly. And then that's going to help with effects bus one. We're going to put some reverb and uh, maybe some delay and maybe some EQ at the end. So reverb, I'm going to opt for the plate. I just want it a little bit brighter and we've got some nice plate reverb on there as well. Let's add some delay. I'm just going to add some ping pong, turn the dry wet down a little bit. And then finally, let's add some EQ. I'm just going to do a gentle 12 dB roll off here, about 50 hertz. Just to control any of those lower portions, just in general. 
that brings us to the end of this episode. This is our first FM Keys preset. If you want to grab this for free, you can in the description. There is a link there to go and grab it and add it into your collection. Again, if you have any questions about what you've seen in the video today, let us know down in the comments. We'll be happy to answer. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care and see you there.